Carolina Panthers made more plays, had more yards. They did have a turnover, but Cam Newton didn't throw an interception. And and the defense made big plays. They're gonna get it. You get yourself a W, sixteen to eight, the final score. First win of the season for the Carolina Panthers. It didn't come without a cost. You know, Darrell Williams re-injured his knee. Don't know how long he's going to be out. Greg Olson looked like he re-injured his foot. And he looked, it looks pretty bad. Looked like he broke his foot again. God dang it. And Luke Keekley hurt himself. So I don't know how long. Let's, let's hope and pray that nothing serious. I mean, the Carolina Panthers just getting dinged up left and right. And this is way before training camp. And it just snowballed. Let's see what the Carolina Panthers are made of the rest of the season. But before I turn my attention to Dallas Cowboys, but it's going to be very short and sweet. Let me get on my team. Winning season, losing season, 500 season, doesn't matter. I am so damn tired of watching my beloved Carolina Panthers finding ways to make a game closer than it should. They should have blown out the uh, the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. The first half, they were doing awesome. Now, granted, I did miss most of the first quarter due to being out of town. Got in just in time. <clears throat> so, everything's all good. Cam Newton doing his thing, running and throwing. Christian McCaffrey, yes, I know he did turn the ball over. At the red zone, which that's a little concern, but they should have had C.J. Anderson instead of him running between the tackles. But when they got to that red zone again before the end of the half, they took their sweet time. And they had to stop the clock to kick a field goal. And that's when Panther fans on Twitter were irate, and I don't blame them. That was six points or seven points right there. You know, I just don't get it. They should have blown out the Dallas Cowboys when they had the chance. When I saw that and I had a bad feeling they're going to make this game tired and it tighter than they should. Okay. And that's exactly what happened. First half play calling. Beautiful. Excellent job, North Turner. Second half. I'm thinking, did Mike Shula come back or something? I mean, my goodness. It was conservative as heck, man. I'm like, oh my goodness. And when I saw Dallas Cowboys making that comeback, I'm thinking, here we go again. And that penalty definitely kicked things off late in the fourth quarter to get Dallas Cowboys to score a touchdown and convert two points. So, Carolina, stop doing this. Stop making your fans have to sweat. Stop making things harder on yourselves. Put the game to bed. That's all you got to do. Now, as for the Dallas Cowboys, that was a good game. You know, Cowboy fans. Not all, but some of y'all need to get a life and kick rocks for cheering Carolina Panthers injured. Come on now. Come on. That's Bush League. Worry about your team. Why your team lost the game. They weren't in sync. Missed tackles everywhere. More penalties than the Carolina Panthers. And memo to the national media. Yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Skip Bayless, Fox Sports 1 crew, and ESPN, especially y'all, and Bleach Report, and everybody else. Sean Lee isn't better than Luke Keekley. I saw that brother got run over, stumped on, being tossed aside. If it ain't Christian McCaffrey, it's Cam Newton. If it ain't him, it's somebody else. I don't ever want to hear any person from the national media say Sean Lee's better linebacker than Luke Keekley ever again. That's hogwash. It's BS, and you know it. Yes, the Carolina Panthers will be traveling to Atlanta, Georgia to take on the Atlanta Falcons, their division rival, next Sunday. I look forward to it. If I don't make the video, then we got it. I have to deal with the Hurricane Florence. Hopefully it missed, but it looks like it's heading towards North, South Carolina, Georgia, whatever. So, 
<clears throat> so let me go ahead and get off. Throw y'all peace sign. You know what to do. I'm out. Let me get back to playing Spider-Man before I take it back to Redbox. Peace.